hi guys and welcome to the auto hq as you know here you get tutorial videos on different softwares and digital applications today we will be checking out four canva alternatives that you probably haven't thought about before as you probably know or if you do not know canva is one of the most used you know digital apps at the moment and you use canva to create different sorts of graphics and videos and presentations and whatnot and everybody likes canva because it's easy for beginners but today i'm going to be showing you four other alternatives that you can try out that are also quite easy to use and have their unique features let's get into it so firstly we would be checking out pixlr p-i-x-l-r so i'm just gonna write that into my google so Pixlr is just like Photoshop plus Canva and it's got its own unique you know features. It's free, it's free photo editing and design tools with a sprinkle of artificial intelligence and it's not hard to sign in. As you can see here, you can generate images with AI or remove background, remove an object, create a collage, um, crop an image or created um, template library. Now, um, of course, if you know what Canva does, you know that Canva most likely would be able to do more than this. So we're just going to try to sign up or log in. Um, this should be a very seamless process. Let's just try it out. So once you click um, your email address and you sign in, as you can see up here, your name will show. Um, so this is the name of the account we're using at the moment. And you can just start a quick design project here or start editing a photo here. So here you can edit a photo the same way you'll be able to do on Photoshop. And you can create a quick and easy design the same way you do on Canvas. So let's quickly check what it's like to create a design. So let's start a design here. Okay, this is just an ad. So these are for you to choose the frames, the templates you want to work with. Um, this is for a YouTube thumbnail, and if you're working with an Instagram story, or YouTube art, or just Pinterest, whatever it is. So you just scroll and it'll show you what you're working with. This is for LinkedIn company, Twitter post, and all of that. And if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see templates that you can easily click on and edit. So let's do something really quickly with this. So let's go here. And when you see the sign, that means it's for premium. Once you over your button on top of it, you would know whether it's premium or not. But let's just try to go back to this one and see if we can use this template. Let's click on it. And there you go. So now it's asking for you to unlock the template. And I believe that that will take us straight to purchasing. And you can purchase this for one dollar or you can do seven days premium yay so if you want to just try out pixel art you can just try out the seven days of free premium and see whether or not you are interested but you know you've got to be careful to not forget that seven days so that they don't end up charging your card when you have decided that you're not interested okay so we're gonna go back now you cannot download this design at the moment as you can see it's got the the cross crosses the checkbox on it so if you download it it's not going to make sense but let us try see if we can download this so we're gonna come here to save click on save and it brings us back here so you will be unable to download unless you have paid for the app or you're on the seven days free premium so let's go back now and check out what the payment options are what the pricing strategy you're working with is so we'll come here click try premium yeah so we've got 0.99 per month which is not bad if you compare it with you know canva or adobe um premium for 90 usd per month seven days free and for your teams you could do 9.91 per month not so bad um let's go back and see how we can edit an image and if that would require us to have to pay for anything now that we're back at the home page we click on open image let's see where that takes us um we're gonna click on an image that we would like to edit So you can either add the image as a layer in a document you already created or create a new document entirely. So we're just going to create a new document. Click on that. And here we go. If you can see the layout is sort of different from Canva. Um, I would not say it is easier than Canva, but it's just a bit different. And once you over your cursor on any of the icons, you figure out what it's for. Okay. Um, let's say we want to do, um, want to do just adjust and filter. So you can click on auto and it fixes it, it fixes all the automatical errors that you can see. As you can see, this looks brighter than it was before. Um, let's see if we can change the scene. Fill it a little bit. I think that's a little bit. Let's take it back a bit. Yeah. Um, let's see what glamour does. It's not so crazy. I think we just want to do a little bit of that. And then bloom. I'm just messing around here. So this makes it unnecessarily bright. And I'm not sure that we want that. Do we want to de-aze it? Do we? 
now this looks like a, a uniform a correctional facility uniform uh, we don't want that so let's compare once you click this it compares with what you had before i think what we have is pretty good so let's compare to save it would ask what um, format we want and i want png so let's say png and let's see what happens there you go Miss. okay and there it goes so we do not have to pay to do that but unfortunately you have one out of three saves we just use one out of three daily saves so every day you get three daily free saves and that is it okay if you want more than that you have to go for the seven days of free premium i don't think this is such a bad deal i'm sure some people will still choose canva over this but let me know in the comment section if canva does it better for you than pixel and we're going to go to the next um, app right now but please don't forget to like subscribe comment ask your questions but make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up so youtube knows and you enjoyed this video and it was quite helpful to you so let's go to the next app right now so our next alternative is microsoft designer i am going to make sure i leave the link to all of these platforms in the description box below so please make sure you check it um so microsoft designer is i don't know microsoft designer um now i'm also not sure if you're going to pick canva over this one but i know what my choice is going to be but let's just explore all of this together now the way microsoft designer works is you have to describe in writing exactly what you want for your graphics okay like um oh i want a flower against a set of grass or oh, i want trees by the beach so let's do an instagram post an insta post of trees Ooh. and by the beach okay so you click on generate and it's going to generate designs for you that look similar to what you have asked for um it might take a little bit of time um but here as you can see down here it's giving us a suggestion that we can try so create a serene instagram post of trees by the beach is blue green or yellow colors to depict the calmness of the beach so for this one you have to be detailed with what you want and it's automatically bring options for you so we're just going to click on this and try this suggestion and let it generate images so as you can see here we on the right hand side we have different templates you can increase um you can show you can click on what format you want your pictures to be in square landscape or portrait so we're going to keep click on portrait let's assume that it's the cover image for a reel okay so um as you can see here you have designs with text that you can just you know easily edit now um from my own my own judgment not all of these designs would fit what i had in mind but it comes quite close with the description that we put in there so you see you see trees and you see um you see the beige, you can see the beige, you can see the yellow and the blues and the greens and it's just, you know, really, really nice. So let's just click on one of these and see how um, we can edit it to suit what we want, okay? So we'll use this one and we'll come down here. You can either choose to download it, let's try to download it, click on the file type you want. I am a big fan of PNG because I can just use it for whatever I want to use it for. Um, and you can, if you want to make the background transparent, you can click on that. So let's choose, we don't need to make the background for this transparent, so we're not going to click on that. And we're going to use download. And as you can see up here, it's downloaded um, but let's go back and try to um, customize this design hello let's customize this design to suit something that we can make it up so if we click on this text we can just edit it to suit whatever it is that we want to do okay um, and up here you can change the font and the size of the font and format it and change the color so let's come here let's let's mess with the color a little bit um yeah so you can choose whatever color you want. I'm just gonna go with this red. I'm fine with the font for now, but I think I want to reduce the font size. So we're going to do, yeah, we go. Yeah, so we're going to reduce that a little bit. Okay, I think 66 works. And if we want to edit it, I just have to click on it and edit. I will then write the out to the out to HQ. Um, and you can come here to format it. It's currently left aligned. If you want it to be middle aligned, you click on, on the icon again. If you want it aligned to the side, but I want it in the middle. So we're going to have to get it in the middle. Yes. And there we go. So now let's see if we can download. You can also move this around a little bit. So there you go. So let's see if we can download this. And it's very interesting because this, for Microsoft Designer, you do not have to pay, but you can subscribe to receive more tips from Microsoft Designer. So let's click, click subscribe to see what our options are and we don't have to pay for anything this is so nice i think that i am quite attracted to this option because i get to type in exactly what i want and the ai is just going to give me options so i think that this is pretty nice you could type in what you want for your book cover or for your um, product label or whatever so we're moving on to the next um alternative now and that is vista create vista create um, Vista Create is also like kind of a Microsoft design on Pixlr um, and it is free. It's a free graphic design software and apparently most people are using it but I've not heard much about it. So for this one, you there are payment options but we're just going to play with it a little bit. Yeah. 
so you just have to click to sign in with your email account or your google account whatever the case may be and once you have done that you create you automatically create a free account now it will ask you what best describes your kind of work and i'm just going to go for personal projects you can pick whatever works for you um I don't like notifications and just the way we saw with Pixlr you can see immediately the different sizes that you can work with custom size um, oh, I think I made a mistake there okay yeah <laughs> custom size Instagram post size um, YouTube thumbnail and what you what would happen is once you click on this you will be able to you know create a design that fits right into the dimensions that you're working with so let's check out the templates let's see let's check out the templates and on this side, you can see animated designs for Instagram video story and Instagram reel, YouTube intro. Let's check Instagram reel right here. And this is looking quite good. All of them are um, text given theme because it's text given at the time I'm you know, recording this video. I'm probably posting it also. Uh, so let, let's click on this happy text given. It's an animated video that you could use on your Instagram reels. Mm -mm, not so bad. Um, but I think my only concern with this, I'm not certain if it's my network or the bandwidth I'm working with, but um, it sort of takes its time to load, um, to move to the next page. So I'm just going to blame it on my network at the moment. So we can easily edit whatever text we want off of this design. Um, I want to change the entirety of that, of the enjoy the day into have fun. Uh, okay, let's have a great time. Okay, no, I think we're just going to do a fun. In case you have not liked or shared or subscribed, please do so. Like this video, give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel. I post tutorial videos on how to HQ on different sort of platforms, payment platforms, design platforms, publishing platforms, AI platforms, whatever. And if there are platforms you like me to do a tutorial for, please say it in the comment section. And I trust trust me that I will deliver. I trust myself to deliver. Okay. So yeah, so we're working with have fun. Um, okay, I think there's a mistake there. Let's fix it. Just move that around because we want it in the middle. So we can just yeah. yeah. I think we can do that. That works. Um, so let's try to play it and see what it looks like. Yes. All right. So we're gonna come up here and export it. Let's see if we're going to be able to do that without pain. Um, so you can click where you want to download that here. I would not mind that name before for an animation video. Um, preparing the design for download. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, the design got saved without having to pay anything. So yes, confirmed the app is free, <laughs> the platform is free. Let's come here to see what the payment is like. Ooh. So for starters, this plan, you do not have to pay anything. And you know, honestly, of all the alternatives that we've tried out, this that create is still my favorite, but I'm not sure what was still my heart away from Canva. But you know, if there was in Canva, I most likely just do this that create. And I think that this is quite an amazing option. It has almost all the same features and I don't have to pay for that. So, <laughs> but if you are into a higher level of graphics design, just pay because um, what you get in the package for payment is quite different. But if you would like to try it out, they have a 14-day free trial that you can cancel anytime before you have to pay 10 USD per month. Compared to Microsoft Designer and Pixlr, I think that Vista Create has got a lot more features and might be worth the 10 bucks. But I'll leave you to find that out yourself. Let me know what you think. And now we're moving to the next alternative, um, Adobe Express. I'm not sure if you've heard of this one before, but it's just as much fun as you know the rest. So let's just try that out. So here we are on Adobe Express. I can just continue with. Yeah. And as you can see right here, you can get Adobe Express free and no credit card required. Once you confirm that you're using your email account to have access to Adobe, in case you don't know or you're new to this channel, I always connect most of my accounts to my Gmail address, so whatever Gmail address I'm filming with, I'm working with, so that I can easily access it next time, okay? So we're gonna click, we're gonna, you can read through the terms of use and just click accept and continue. Once you do that, it will bring you back up here where you can see that you are signed in already. Um, so as you can see here, yeah, free use forever, no credit card required, and you can get Adobe Express for free. But let's just scroll down a little bit. I think that my cursor is quite touchy at the moment, so it keeps taking us to places where we do not want to go. But let's just scroll down and see what we have here. So unlike um, what Pixlr and Vista Create gave us, Adobe Express is... Um, it works sort of differently. It's just it's almost the same thing, you know, giving us templates we can work with. But here you can see that you can edit a PDF document. And I think I'm just going to do a video about how you can edit a PDF document using Adobe Express later. So make sure you subscribe so you can be on top of that game, okay? Because I know quite a lot of people have issues editing PDFs, but we're not going to talk about that now, okay? Come back some other time. Um, so Instagram square post, flyer, Instagram story, TikTok video, logo, um, Instagram reel, YouTube thumbnail, YouTube video, whatever you want to do. Adobe Express got you. Um, 
I'm just going to my, my person is quite touchy. I don't know if it's this website because it wasn't doing this before. So I guess you just have to be careful when you come here so you don't get lost. So you can see tons of templates for TikTok videos, flyers, Instagram videos. Let's click on logo. I can just see. I, I think that this is quite fun um, and also quite easy. Now, I cannot guarantee that I've not seen this same exact um, templates on other platforms, but what should really differentiate these apps from each other should be ease of use and access. So what do you have access to, what do you have to pay for, and all of that. But let's just try to do a flyer here. Um, this one, let's edit this one. If you've not liked this video, please make sure you do. And if you came this far, I appreciate it. We've checked out Pixelara, Microsoft Designer, Vista Create, and now we're at Adobe Express. Make sure you tell me which platform you're most partial to in the comment section. And if you want me to do a more detailed video on any of the platforms also, please let me know, okay? So let's go. Um, as you can see, the layout, the, the user interface is almost the same thing with Vista Create and Pixelara. Um, this one is particularly very close to Canva. I'm not sure what they were trying to do here. I don't know which one came first, this or Canva, but the layout is quite similar. If you agree with me, please let me know in the comment section. But the layout is quite similar and I, I think I like it. But let, let's just try to edit this. Um, we're gonna give everybody up to 90% off, okay. So just click on it. I'm not sure what's going on because um, the response is not working well. So for some reason, um, the design is not exactly responding very well to um, what I am trying to do. I'm trying to edit it, but it's not seeming to work out very well. And I think that I, I can just dump it, but I'll try. Um, I'm also concerned that it might be the capacity of my PC at the moment, but I actually think that this works out quite well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out some other time. Also, the website is quite slow. Um, but I, that would mean that you can't use it with just any computer, unless you want to do Forbes. Any computer and it's expected to respond very well. Um, it's quite slow. I typed Forbes like one million years ago. It's quite slow. Um, I don't know if I'm that because I actually have quite a lot of things to do and very limited time to edit my thumbnails and designs for Instagram. So, no, no, I'm not going to work with this. What I'm going to do though is try it out on another PC that has um, higher processing capacity and then see what happens. But generally, I think that this layout is not so bad. I'm going to try to download it now and let's see. Um, you know, getting these things for free is quite the big deal because this is not something that we had access to a number of years ago. For four years ago, you wouldn't have been able to, you know, create a design like this without having to pay some, you know, quite interesting amount for it. Okay, so yeah, I don't think that I can complain. But um, at the moment, Mr. Create is coming in my favorite after Canva. Um, and I, okay, so let, let's check out what you have to pay if you ever have to pay. Yeah, but all I'm saying is get Adobe Express free, get Adobe Express free. But yeah, we can see that there's the free version and every, like they said, everything you need to stand out. And there's also the premium version that is $9.99. Um, I think that this is not such a bad deal. Yeah, it's not such a bad deal. But if you have a non-profit or a school, um, non-profits get this all for free on Adobe Express. Schools also get it for free uh, for K-12, uh, but creating cloud members, students and individual plans, you know. I think you have to pay. Let's check out for students because there are any students on this channel. Ooh, there's an option to pay. That's quite nice. So, I think that's about it. Please let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. Are you stuck with Canva or would you be trying out any of these alternatives? Pixelar, Microsoft Designer, Vista Create, Adobe Express. Or do you know other alternatives that you think that I should check out or we should check out? Please make sure to put it in the comment section. Make sure to like, make sure to share, and make sure to subscribe and make sure you leave me a comment, okay? Until next time, thank you for joining Auto HQ. Bye.